What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Gas Station Simulator. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series so far, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we pretty much just played through the demo slash prologue of the game once again. So today, I actually have no idea what's going to happen. So it is now day two, technically. About, uh, about to be 9 a.m., but the first thing we need to do is come over here to our sign. As this person drives on by, I am so we're open now. We're Oh, we just missed him. We just missed him. Hey, you know what? It's all good. Not even super worried about it, but we have $484.75. So we're looking, we're looking pretty good as far as our finances go. But it looks like we should probably order up some more soft drinks and maybe a few more few more chunky o's and other things wait are those paprika chips interesting that sounds like a good flavor actually okay so computadora over here we need to go to actually there was a challenge hang on uh outdoor decorations bot one okay so we gotta we gotta do just one of those outdoor we'll see what we can do twenty dollars for a table easy money easy money there it is all right let's go back See what we have to do now. Current tasks, purchase the level 2 upgrade for your gas station. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Oh, this... You know what? I was wondering where we actually get to see our, our fuel level, or our tank's fuel level, I suppose. This is the spot to do that. So level up for free. Oh, love that, dude. I do like the cutscenes and stuff. If you want to call that a cutscene, I suppose. But let's see, what do we do now? Find a way to enter the warehouse and open its gates. Okay, we've also got a new email. So we'll have to look into that. See what we got going on over here. Okay, that is definitely chained up, but I'm pretty sure we have a lockpick. So we could probably just lockpick that door. I just had to make sure that there weren't any other doors that were already open. So it looks like this is our only way in. How do we actually do the stuff here? No? Okay, we can't use the lockpick on that door. Let's go around back, maybe. There there could be another entrance. Can we... What was that? We can interact with something over here. It just popped up. Oh, my God. We're, oh, it was it was Rudy. Never mind. Never mind. We've got another locked door back here. How are we supposed to enter the gas station? Oh. Yeah, I should probably, like... I don't know. Pay more attention to the little waypoints and stuff on the map. Got the airplane flying over. See what we got going on in here. Oh, hello! Ex excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? When we expanded the, uh, or when we upgraded to level two, I guess it expanded our shop in here. That's kind of interesting. How you doing today, miss? Having a, having a good day, hopefully. Also want to say, hopefully you guys are having a very, very fantastic start to your week so far. Happy Monday to all of you. Come on. We can we can do this. We can do this. We haven't had anything accidentally fall into the basket yet. And I'm going to I'm going to strive for greatness here. All right, let's clean that up just a little bit more. There we go. 2981. You're doing your grocery shopping here, miss. Love that. All right. Cuckoo clock is freaking out, but look at all the expansion we have in here now, dude. Our shelves look a little out of place. So let's go ahead and move these things real quick. I'm just going to put this up against the wall right there. And then, oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Sorry. Snack shelf I'm going to place right there. But now they're empty. So let's go back to the computer. I'm sure there's something that we can do here. Features, shelves. Here we go. So oh, no, no, no. This is how we buy stuff. I'm still learning, you guys. Got a lot to learn here. So how do we stock this stuff? Can we not? Oh, no. I've just completely gotten rid of everything that we had over here. Inventory, maybe? Shelves. Products. Here we go. Naranja. Is that what that is? It definitely says that I have stuff to be placed in the shelves, but I don't know how to actually place any of it. Oh, God. We got customers at fuel. How you doing, sir? Hopefully you're having a good day as well. We'll, we'll give you a little fuel. No sweat. And right there. Got him. You're a lifesaver. You bet your sweet bippy we are. Oh, there's the key. Okie dokie. Well, now that we found that, let's go back to the warehouse. We'll deal with restocking our shelves here 
momentarily. But for now, this is what it wants us to do. So we'll go ahead and unlock that door. Go around back and unlock this one as well. Now we can make entry into our warehouse. This is the first time we've actually been able to see the inside of this place. I don't think this was here at all. Well, the building was here, but I don't think we could actually interact with anything in the demo or prologue. So what does all this stuff do? What is it good for? It looks like it's just a scrap heap. It's just all junk. Oh. We can we can play a guitar. What? How do we how do we do this? A, S, D, Z, and X and C to play. Told you guys I was in a band. No, I'm not actually. I'm not definitely not in a band. Oh, and as we move around, he actually plays the different um what are these called? Oh my god, Brother Doug's gonna be so upset with me. Chords. They're called chords. I did have to read the prompt, but it's fine. <laughs> totally fine. There, we've we've played our guitar. I wonder if we can have like concerts here or something, or maybe our teddy bear over here actually plays the drums at some point. We need somebody on keys too. God, dude, we got a lot of stuff to look forward to for sure. Let's go ahead and open up this door. Be careful, keep your warehouse gates closed, otherwise someone may steal from you. I've got you, okay. And then what does it want us to do with this? Remove the haystacks to make the warehouse operational again. All right. Seems pretty easy. I always forget that it's a just a click. You don't actually have to like click and hold or press and hold. You know what? We probably should keep the thing closed. We, we probably don't want people uh, coming out and, and trying to buy stuff from our gas station at the moment. Even th there's a lady at fuel. Ooh, this is a sweet whip, miss. How you doing today? Okay, I thought your shirt had something different on it. Never mind. I'm not, not even going to talk about it. Not even going to say nothing. Give you a little bit of fuel. You are welcome. Let's come over here, though. We gotta, we gotta shut things down for the time being. All right, we are, we are not in a position to help customers at the moment. Got a lot of stuff to do in the back. Hopefully, you guys all understand. You know, I, it's, it's a one-man show here. A one-man show. Let's go ahead and get this trash real quick. There we be. Dude, so the, the hay bales are kind of a problem. I mean, look at... I have maybe four or five in here, and it's like completely filled this dumpster already. And it wants us to get rid of all of them. I'm not sure if we actually have to throw them away or not, but we may end up calling the garbage collection services because... Oh, there's another one back here. Um, unless... Unless we have enough dumpsters. I don't know, dude. It's going to be interesting. That is for sure. We have one final hay bale. Or maybe... There's one more right there for sure. Hang on. Let's go ahead and throw that out there. There's definitely this one. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Just one unaccounted for hay bale, I suppose. We'll toss that one in there. And there's some out front, too, that we can't actually do anything with. It's also kind of difficult to see where you're walking. You almost have to just hoist this thing up above your head to... To do anything with it. All right, let's go into our gas station and let's go ahead and call the garbage collection people. How do we do that? Just just that easy. Perfect. All right, the deed is done. Uh, restore the warehouse from the main PC tab. Okay. I guess we need to do some more. 50 bones? Dude, everything's so cheap right now. But there you go. We have a new warehouse. So I'm assuming this is where all of our supplies for our, our shelving units in here. I'm assuming that's where all of that's going to be delivered to, so we're probably going to have to leave the gate open when the deliveries come in, but we're going to make sure that we close it, especially at nighttime, because that is probably when things are uh, going to get a little scary. People are going to start coming around trying to steal all of our stuff. So we'll just leave that locked up. We can't actually lock it or anything, right? Doesn't look like it. Garbage truck coming in, though. We've got two new emails. I'm probably not going to read through all the emails, but I will definitely skim through them just to make sure there's there's nothing else that we need to do. Oh, and now we get to actually order products. Perfect. Okay, if you have several different brands of products on shelves, the customers will buy more things. That's good to know. Prices change every day at midnight. Green arrows indicate a bargain price. Red means they're less favorable. You'll make profit regardless. However, the cheaper you buy, the more profit you will make. That's pretty obvious. You can track the price curve, yada, yada, yada. Okay, there's a lot to take in here. Definitely a lot to take in. But let's see what all we can do. Okay, so we have Pepsi, 
we have, I'm going to say Naranja Harito. Potentially, I'm, I'm not actually sure. This is probably supposed to be Dr. Pepper. I like it. I like it. Okay, so what is this? This is our shopping cart. We can place things in there and then order at the very end. So, red, not as favorable, is what it said. There's these, these little dots above the price. So, let's just do... Oh, they're times 30? Good God, dude. Let's just do the cheaper ones. Let's do Sakiri. No idea what that is. And orange soda. And now for our snack food. Let's see what we're working with here. We got popcorn, Bollies, uh, Chunky O's, of course. I'm going to go with the Oreo looking doodads. And let's do some Chunky O's. All cookies, baby. All cookies. And now we can just hit order. The deed is done. I didn't actually look to see how much we just spent right there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Wait for the delivery truck to arrive, then unpack all the products into the warehouse. Easy. All right, and in the meantime, while we wait for the truck to arrive, I'm just going to continue throwing away all the garbage and stuff. Okay, it looks like they're making their way onto the property now. I got one final desk to throw out here, and then there was something on the wall. Whoops, that did not go in. There we go. There's something on the wall in here. I'm not sure if we need to remove that or not. I think that can probably stay. It's it's a good uh, good little decorative piece. But I think... Oh, my God. Come on, mattress. Fit through the door. Thank you. Looks like they're kind of chilling back there, waiting for us. I I, I see you. Believe me, I see you. we got to go in through our door, little man door over there, and then we can just open up this big garage door. Let them come in. Perfect. You guys will have to let me know, too, if we need to, like, keep all the junk in here, if we can kind of declutter it a little bit. I, I just don't want to throw anything away if we actually use it for something later. So he doesn't actually do anything. He he will wait for us to remove all the stuff from his own truck. I don't think that's how deliveries actually work IRL. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I just feel like he's supposed to be doing this. <laughs> That'll do. That sure will do. Go ahead and close up your truck for you as well. Hop back up in there. The animations are kind of funny sometimes, but I'm sure they're a bit of a work in progress. There he goes. On his way. Sweet. Okay, now we're good to close up shop once again. And uh, we just have to make sure that these little man doors stay closed as well. But let's see what we got going on over here now. Refill the shelves with products from the warehouse. Oh, hint. Go to the shelf and interact with the place to... Okay, got it. Got it. Left mouse button to place. And we can just kind of do whatever we need. So we had originally a few like of the bottled orange sodas. So I'm going to place those back in there. We also had some Dr. Pepper. So I'll put those in there. We'll do five orange sodas. Five of the... I don't know if it's that grape soda maybe. Or like strawberry soda, something like that. Just so we can have a even distribution of products here apparently our uh our customers enjoy that type of stuff so there we go got a full shelf there again and now we're just going to do a similar thing over here we'll start with all the stuff we had originally and then now we'll just go through and do let's do 10 10 10 and 10 and then we're just gonna have to keep going dude we're gonna stock all the shelves stock all the things all righty pick up the phone your uncle has some words for you Uncle, if you send someone to kick my buns again, I'm going to be super pissed. All right? That was just, that was I not see cool. you're putting hard work into keeping your station we sure are. Again, we kid. sure are. Good. Good, good. good. All right. That's I enough talking. Popularity. Gather positive feedback from customers to increase the popularity level of your gas station. Higher popularity, increases traffic, yada, yada, yada. All kind of makes sense. Okay. Well, let's see. What do we have next? Buy a toilet using a using the computer, not a computer. That would be this guy here. Features. I do like how it kind of highlights the things that we need to interact with. Because obviously, well, that wasn't the right button. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for here. So, let's go to shelves, maybe. No. It could be other, I suppose. I thought this was, like, outdoor stuff. But, let's see, we have parking... Here it is. Here it is. Okay, we have the toilet as well. It doesn't actually show us where it's going to go, but we can buy that for 50 bones. Or maybe not. It wants us to keep clicking through. Okay, parking. What is happening? It just keeps taking us from parking to the toilets. 
not really sure. And it won't let me bot. Suddenly it just did. I just spam clicked it and, and we're good now. Okay. Next we have to clean up the toilet with the broom. So we'll grab our broom. And then we already know how to use the broom. Thank you though. I do like the tool tips. Those definitely come in handy. But I wish they would stop popping up for stuff we already kind of know how to use, you know? Let's go over here. Oh, and the door's just open now. In the previous episode, we were able to, like, grab stuff like this sign, and it was bad. It was bad. It didn't look legit at all, but the door is just completely gone now. It's just sort of an op- Really, dude? These people are disgusting! How can you just do- There's feces on the floor, you guys. Come, you're better than this. You're better than this. I know it's the Dust Bowl and- Times are- times are tough, you know? But good god, can you not just... On the floor? In the center of the room? We ha we hadn't even had this thing open, either. Like, kind of- oh, there's some bleach there. Yeah, you could have probably used that to clean up a little bit. Good god. Okay, so we gotta clean up the turd juice that's now on the floor, but it looks like we have mirrors and, uh, there's a little checklist over there. Mirrors and sinks already, so... Let's get out our handy-dandy broom again. We'll just kind of sweep up the area. Oh, there's also, like, dirt piles and stuff in here, too. I just saw the footprints in the turd juice at first. There we go. I think that is nice and clean, hopefully. Increase the station's popularity rating by one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, we can't go through this door, so I don't actually think we were able to purchase that toilet. Let's, uh, let's go back into features, and we'll see if we can't try that again. I, d I don't think it worked, truthfully. No, I guess it did. Okay, there's definitely not a toilet in there, though, is the problem. So, time will tell. Time will tell. Up in the top left, it looks like we have our home. So, like, the main gas station, and then I think WC would be the warehouse, or would that be the restroom? I don't know what WC stands for, necessarily. Also, we're charging people a buck fifty just to use the toilet. Good God. Well, it's gonna be daylight here any minute now, so let's go over here. We'll flip the switch, open up shop for the day, and then in the meantime, while we're sort of waiting for people to start coming in, let's uh, let's go check our email, see what see what Uncle has to say or whoever's emailing us. I don't even know. Good God, there's a lot of stuff. Whole. Oh. They expect us to read through all this, dude? Can I can I get like the spark notes on all this? Or is there is there a way to just clear out all this stuff? Yeah, I'm just gonna go through it and just open everything. Might as well. There's Dennis. We learned about him. Lock picking, loans, cash register, uh, loan for goodwill, upgrades. Got it. Warehouse deliveries, approval and popularity. Excellent. Okay. The deed is done. We can't actually hire any employees yet, but just the fact that the tab is there is very reassuring because we are absolutely going to need some help here. We definitely can't do this all by our lonesome here. I thought that was bread on the ground, but I think that's just a rock. <laughs> Got a person pulling in in their Ford Pinto bean. I don't actually know what this is modeled after, but it's it's a cute little, cute little hatchback. You guys know I, I do appreciate a hatchback. How you doing today, sir? Got a nice looking sweater on you too, my guy. Love that for you. A little bit of fuel. And we're good. Much what I ask for. Pretty much what yeah, I mean it is. It's exactly what you asked for, actually, but that's alright. So what's our objective here? Just increase the gas station's popularity by one or two one? Because right now we're currently sitting at level one, I believe. So we'll just we'll just have to keep kind of doing our thing and and helping people out as they come up to the shop here. And I gotta call trash collection again, dude. Oh, are you going to use the restroom by chance? Or are you going inside? Either either one. We're gonna come into here and order some garbage collection. Perfect. All right, miss. I am ready when you are. You just let me know what you need. All right, you got the shiniest, the, just the shiniest hair I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and clean the conveyor belt up. She would just like some candy. Oh, there's more. Two candies and some paprika chips. Love it. And we got a 79 cent tip from her. Thank you very much, miss. You have a great rest of your day now, all right? Y'all come back now. Oh, got a customer at gas, too. Evening, miss. 
I like the bucket hat. Unless no, that's a sun hat. Never mind. Never mind. Good looking car too. Got pretty. I was worried we'd be stranded. I don't. I don't think you gotta worry about that anymore. But it's got nice red leather interior. I'm really digging that, dude. A lot of the cars are, are very well done, very well modeled. Oh, what's going on, dude? Kind of thought you were a burglar at first. Jeez, look at the goatee on this man. That is impressive stuff. Very, very impressive stuff. All right, he wants two orange sodies. And that is it. Thanks a bundle. Hey, you're welcome, bud. We'll see you next time. Okay, what else can we do in the meantime? There's this area over here. That's probably a future expansion. Then we have the car wash. I believe car wash is unlocked at level four now, which is pretty exciting. So we'll probably be doing that here before too long, I'm sure. But as we wait for the garbage collection to come through, I think I'm just going to try to keep throwing a few things in there. You know what? Might as well pile it on. Oh, I guess the other thing that we could be working on right now is painting the exterior too. We've only done uh, a portion of it. Basically just the spots that old Dennis the Menace got us. But let's see what this dude wants. A little bit of fuel today. Alrighty. Easy as that. Amazing. You're amazing. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. That really didn't make sense, did it? But you know what? It's fine. It's all good. Let's uh, let's get our trash can out here. And we'll just kind of clean up whatever we can, dude. Probably about time we take the rest of these boards off of these windows, too, dude. That's, that's giving people the wrong impression, you know? I want them to know that we are, in fact, open and ready for bidness. So... Dennis, I hear you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I literally just... I heard chuckling. I heard laughter. Denny? Denny boy? I know he's around here somewhere. You guys... Here he is! God, you can hear him before he even gets here. Nope. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Oh my god, this kid, dude. Whose kid is this? Honestly. Alright, well, we took care of him. Now we just gotta take care of our customers. Got two ladies up at the counter. You're not gonna be stranded. Not out here, anyways. I mean, not with us in charge of the gas station. Let's see what this lady's got. Some paprika chips. Nice, just two of those for the road. Solid choice, ma'am. Solid choice. And then you need some fuel? We can help you out. Definitely help you out. I keep forgetting about, like, the speed boost thing. I owe you one. You're a lifesaver. Let's keep picking up all these boards and whatnot. Got to get our bag back out. I will say, I remember in the demo slash prologue... Calm down! My goodness! We had to remove each one of these boards by hand and then throw them individually into the dumpster. And I like the fact that we kind of have this um, trash can, you know removal process a little bit. I gotta admit too, part of me does kind of miss the basketball court that was previously over in this vicinity, but I think that was just so they could kind of show off the uh, dynamic of, of being able to pick up and throw objects. I don't really think that was intended to stay in the game for forever. Oh, good evening, Ossifer. Are you, what are you doing? Oh, just throwing some stuff out? Okay. Hopefully you're not you know, getting rid of evidence or anything like that, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. You don't seem like the type. All right. Get a little bit of fuel in this little tiny green machine. You are welcome, dude. I feel like we're doing really, really well right now. As soon as we help out this nice ossifer over here. I do think we need to check to make sure that we have plenty of fuel to keep helping people out. Hey. Yeah, you're welcome, bud. So we're sitting currently at 40%, and we are almost, almost to either level one or level two popularity. Let's see, 700 to level up again. Okay, so we need to back out, and we need to go to delivery, fuel supply. Let's do just 100, just 100 right now. That's probably not enough necessarily, but I think it'll get us by. I gotta tell you guys, I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying this. I was worried that it was going to be almost too monotonous and it was just going to kind of lose its charm after a while, but the devs have really done a great job here. We got our fuel truck coming in, coming in hot too. And I know that the devs working on another game that I believe has a demo out now. I, I'm really tempted to check it out, but I just, I want to give this a bit more time and, and then maybe we'll, we'll check out some of their, some of their other stuff, but the other one, I can't remember the name of it, but it looked really interesting. 
Definitely looked like something that would, you know, be right up our alley. Oh, and it's Elon again, dude. Elon out here delivering our fuel every day of the week. We appreciate you, bud. We do. Go ahead and open up the valve for you. Let you do your stuff, man. I just, I love the, the Elon character model. That is a fantastic touch. All right, fuel delivery taking place at the moment. We need just a few more people to stop in, and I think we'll be able to hit that level two mark. How you doing today, miss? Oh, you're a different character model, actually. I don't think we've seen you around these parts before. Just need a little bit of fuel today, all right? We'll help you out. You're a lifesaver. All right, and then we got another customer up here at the register. Just an orange sodi, a Dr. Pepper, I think, and some Chunkios. Oh, there's more. The Oreos, orange soda. $15. Can you guys imagine spending $15 at a gas station? I can't. I, Honest to God, I can't. We are sitting at 93% at the moment, dude. 93%. We have 420 buckaroonies. A little bit of dirt in here. A little bit of dirt. We just got to clean up right quick. No big deal. Let's check the bathroom. Bathroom is spotless, dude. I'm not sure how they're using a bathroom in here since they're still isn't a toilet but that's all good got another customer at fuel dude this could be it this could be the final customer for us to level up we shall see come on there it is task complete achievement unlocked heard in whispers all righty chad what what do we got going on here a new sign maybe that looks pretty cool well Looks like it could be pretty cool. I don't know if there's anything we can necessarily do with that. It's probably just like a, uh, a tourist attraction almost. Hey, check out our old rusty sign and our new one up there. Yep, that's going to get them. That's going to get all the people coming in. Oh, what? What? When did this get here? I know, I know we had this like little lean-to right here, but I don't think we had this other bit. That is new. All right. Oh, buy a workshop from the main PC tab. Okay. Locked. $300. Do we want to do that yet? I feel like... Ooh, I don't know, dude. We definitely have plenty of stuff here, but that that's everything. I mean, this is, this is all we have. We have nothing else in the warehouse at the moment. So, I think we're probably okay to do this, maybe? We'll see what happens. Oh, this is the... I remember this. I remember this, dude. We got uh, mirrors. We got tires. Let's just go over there and check it out, I guess. But I remember there being quite a bit to do over in this area. So we have our button. That's going to raise and or lower the lift if a vehicle actually pulls into here. Oh, and then we have a computer over here, too. That's kind of handy. All right. So let's see. The warehouse is probably going to store both our, like in-store products our drinks and stuff oh god we got people out here sorry sorry um so i'm assuming though that it's also going to stock our mirrors our wheels slash tires among other things you too ma'am thank you for stopping in but let's see what else we had over here and then there was like a paint scratch remover thing let's get these out of here we'll throw those in the dumpster in a moment just clean out the area a little bit. So here's the mirrors. There's the tires. So we have a little bit of stock to work with just opening this place up. So that's nice. And this is the scratch remover. Got a couple of little tools and whatnot over here just kind of taking up space. But it's it's good decor. I don't think I'm going to throw any of that out. Got two customers over here at the cash register. We're going to help these people out. And then I think I did just see somebody pulling into our new warehouse. Or not warehouse, workshop. So we'll go over there, see what see what that's all about. Great job. Ooh, I like the I like the shirt. The flamingo. How much do I owe you? Uh that would be two dollars and sixty-four cents. Thank you, ma'am. Did she have her septum pierced? Did you guys see like a little piercing? Anyways, kind of interesting. Let's go over here, see if we have we do. Customer at garage. Perfect. How you doing today, ma'am? What do you got going on? Ooh, definitely gonna need a new wheel right there. Let's go ahead and put that up in the air. Grab a new wheel. So if I remember correctly, we have to grab the wheel first, which I thought was really weird, but I guess it kind of makes sense. You need to make sure that you have what you need to repair or replace, I guess. There we go. Get the new one mounted up. A little bit like Car Mechanic Simulator. 
But it definitely doesn't play as good, I will admit. So let's see, what else do we have here? Your car's kind of dirty, so it's not, not really that easy to see what is all wrong with it. Your mirrors look okay. I think this thing here... Oh, scratch remover. Okay, so we'll grab one of those. Come over here, right on the door. Oh, there is a big old scratch mark. God, what did you... What did you do? You might have actually, like, really pissed somebody off or something. Somebody keyed you. That's what I'm getting at. There we go. Is that the only one, or is there more? There might actually be... Oh, you can actually pop the hood? And it has a, it, a physical engine? Rare, dude. Rare. Oh, new mirror? I'm sorry, what? That thing does not look broken. New... What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, I guess... I guess I will... Uh, that just fell right on the ground. Let's try that again. There we go. I guess we can replace your mirror that looked okay with a mirror that actually is okay. Let's get the new one set in there. You sure do, miss. $290. This thing's paying for itself already. Gotta make sure we get rid of the old tires, though. Or wheels, I guess. And let's see what else we got going on in here. Got a customer at the register. We'll help you out. Get your Chunkios. And that is it. $7 for some Chunkios. See, I think I think that character model has a septum piercing. Unless her nose is just very oddly shaped. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Got another customer at Fuel. And I think this will be our last sort of mission for the day. So with that being said, ladies and gents, this is where we're going to wind down this episode at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.